on getting everything put together, I'm gonna do a little bit of fretboard conditioning here. That way when I do get ready to put the strings on, I can wipe that off. This uh, neck is really good. I'm anxious to see how it plays. One of those springs didn't match. Yep, I had a matching one good. Maybe kind of quirky, but one of the springs was a different color and uh, I just wanted them to match, so. Okay. Just use this right here. Put a little rag under that to kind of keep it level when I put those springs on. Oh. Well, first, let me kind of wipe this down a little bit because I don't want that lemon oil getting on my. Good. Now I'll put the rag under there. screwdriver that's funny it looks like they had the the ground wire soldered to the Like it was soldered. Well, Huh. Oh, okay. I thought there was three screws, but there's just two.
listen to music when I work, but on the chance that I get enough uh, subscribers to get monetization on my videos, I don't want to get a copyright strike. that now let me get my strings this is what I was talking about just regular uh, fender bullets and I'm putting uh, nines on this because I normally play tens, but uh, it seems like there's people that play uh, metal and shredders and stuff seem to like the lighter grade strings, so. Uh, Thought I'd do a, uh, see what we got here. This is the one I need here. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. The, uh, I don't know if I can get the camera to focus on that. So anyway, bullet string, this little piece right here pulls back and you, you lift this up, put the bullet string in and lock it down. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that seems to work. Is that got a Yeah, backing it up about a quarter of an inch is what it's what it needed. Kind of a interesting concept of never used these kind of tuners before. So we need to that bottom hole parallel with the nut. Back that 
that just a little bit. This bridge, I don't know if you can see, uh, this bridge and these ball end strings is awesome. Or not ball end, but bullet. I don't know if you saw how easy that was, but just uh, pull that little tensioner back and slip that bullet end string in there and done that's so much easier than a regular Floyd Rose pull that tight and back it up about a quarter about a quarter of an inch. tuned up once I get them all on there once again just pull that back and lift that up just a hair and slide that string in lock it back down it's easy Just a hair. I'm going to have to get a pair of pliers. I don't know if the string slipped or what.
much easier. I don't know if you can see that. You just flip that up, put the bullet string in there, close it back down, and done. No messing with Allen wrenches or cutting ball ends or anything. these down yet and I'm gonna get them in position those strings stretched and settled and and uh, then I'll lock these down I don't really see a reason to put a string tree on there when it's uh, locking Floyd Rose so he's right here will get it locked down so out a little bit and the strings are still stretching. to do a little minor adjusting but uh just straight off the bat the action is pretty good on this i guess those strings that were the original strings must have been nines because Pretty get these 
these fine tuners where there's some adjustment range there. and get that tightened down. never even plug this guitar in uh, it's probably gonna have a quite a bit of buzz because that ground wire is not soldered but just out of curiosity and I'm not sure what it looks like under that pit guard I don't know how much control cavity I have to work with but I'll probably uh, wire that up with some tone knob or at least a tone knob so got no output in the neck wow so it looks like all I got is a on those springs when you bend it bends it bends up the floored rows tuners aren't cutting it.
Wisconsin and so much. Obviously, this is going to need a setup, but uh, at least I know it works, and at least I know the net worked, and uh, yeah, so there we go. Floyd Rose guitar with a new neck, it's the old neck, and the new neck. And now it's a playable guitar. So uh, keep checking back in and thanks for watching. Um, keep checking back in and I'll post some more updates when I get the new pit guard on there. Possibly change the electronics. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe and uh, share, like, comment down below, etc trying to get my channel built up so thanks again for watching and have a good night okay so i got it a little bit set up and uh I just uh i don't really have anything except for my straight into the amp right now so was on that uh, the buzz the buzz on that E string is that third fret right there I just need to I just need to uh, file just a little bit off it's that third fret but
crazy buzz. Because uh, the ground wire is disconnected. Maybe I could stick it in the spring for right now. A little bit of buzz, but not too bad. I'll just hook it in that hook it in that spring for right now. Well, sound like a single coil. Take your uh, ground wire off.
thing's gonna sound good once I get the electronics done. Electronic, get the electronics changed out. Get me a trim arm. This is gonna be a pretty cool guitar. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell notification if you want to hear about new videos when I post. Uh, like, share, comment down below. And come back and keep checking in for the next video. Thank you and have a good night.